Hi, have you ever wondered why time is not explicitly visible in equations of statistical mechanics that you are learning in your undergraduate or postgraduate courses? In fact, if you are going to start with the classical mechanics, the position, momentum, angular momentum, Lagrangian, Hamiltonian, they are all functions of time. In electrodynamics, electric field, magnetic field, they are all functions of time. Then what happened to the time in the case of statistical mechanics? How can it disappear? If you dig a little bit and understand carefully, you will realize that you are actually studying the calculations on a physical system that is already in thermal equilibrium. And therefore, the rest of the properties are going to be independent of time. And this is precisely the reason why time does not explicitly appear in the equations of statistical mechanics. And therefore, this particular study is known as the equilibrium statistical mechanics. Non-equilibrium statistical mechanics is a research topic. And second point is that we don't perform any time averages, but rather we perform ensemble averages. The reason for this is very interesting that the atoms or molecules or the particles in a particular physical system is interacting enormously. That means the gas molecules will be colliding n number of times where n is very large of the order of 10 to the 23. So there is a large interaction is taking place and therefore what happens is the time average of a particular atom or molecule is not required and it ultimately turns out that the time average is going to be equal to the ensemble average. This is another reason why we don't perform time averages but rather ensemble average is sufficient to give good results. So you need to know what's an ensemble average. We will do that in another video.